I mentioned recently on the vlog that the people behind DivX Converter were offering a free serial number to anybody who wanted it. Just download it, put in your email address, and get a free serial number. Well, if you took advantage of that and you've been converting movies ever since, you'll f come to be annoyed, I guess, with the DivX Movies folder and the Movies folder in your home folder. I'll show you what I mean. Right our home folder, we'll then go to Movies. And then all your movies in DivX that you ever convert through DivX have to go to DivX Movies folder. Now, this won't be such a problem unless, of course, you wanted your movies in a specific location. For me, my movies folder. So, rather than copying and pasting them every single time, I figured that we just use a folder action script to do this. So, what we want to do is we want to right click on our folder and we want to say more and we want to say configure folder actions. We'll click on that. This will launch the folder action setup application. You want to check that box right there. I want to say plus. And I want to say DivX Movies. And then we want to say open. It will then ask us what script we want to use, but we haven't, don't have a script yet. So we'll say cancel. Now let's scoot over to script editor. We want to copy the text you know, on the blog. I have the text for the Apple script that you want to use. And you copy that, you paste it in here, you then hit Command K to compile it. And you want to change property, new location. You want to change this to where you want it at. It should be defaulted to movies. And once it's there, we'll Command K again, and we'll save it as DivX Movies, and we'll save it to our desktop. We'll say save and quit. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to our hard drive, library, scripts, folder action scripts, and we want to just drag and drop. And then you have to authenticate. And now that's authenticated, we will close the window and hit the plus sign. It's down inside our list of folder action scripts. We'll say DivX Movies enter or the attach button and we will close this now I test it out we'll open it up movies divix movies and we will drag this movie and drop it on you'll notice that the window flashed and it moves it to our movies folder so let's do ultimate test and we will convert a movie through divix converter we'll drop it on we'll say convert let's take a split second or so There we go. It played the sound that it's done. In just a little while, it appears right here inside our movies folder, and there's nothing inside our DivX movies folder. Now, while this does not get rid of the DivX movies folder, it teaches two important concepts. One, how to enable folder actions and use them, and two, how to get so that you can have a folder work almost like an alias, but not quite. So that's all for now. I hope that you enjoyed this tip. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.